Welcome back. Now, here's what's in health news. Researchers have developed uh, therapies that use the body's immune system to fight cancer. Now, a team of the Johns Hopkins University's Department of Biology has discovered that a protein which helps neurons grow also triggers the release of insulin in the pancreas and may one day lead to early intervention in cases of type 2 diabetes. Faith, uh, viewers, Faith Lapidus reports. Nerve growth factor, or NGF, has a second job in the body. Reggie Curavella's team found receptors for the protein in pancreatic beta cells. They produce insulin, vital for the body to metabolize glucose. It's been known for a while that glucose can kind of remodel the skeletal barrier to secrete insulin, but the downstream pathways, how glucose is sensed by the beta cells to remodel the skeletal barrier was not known. And what we found is that the NGF receptor is involved, is the link between glucose and remodeling of the cytoskeletal barrier to secrete insulin. High blood glucose levels cause NGF to be released from the pancreatic blood vessels, which prompts the beta cells to relax the cell wall barrier and release insulin. Curavella's team tested the glucose levels in mice after genetically manipulating the function of the NGF receptor. So what we did was to remove the NGF receptor specifically from the pancreatic beta cells. And we found that uh, these beta cells um, were no longer able, they could make insulin, but when confronted with high glucose were not able to secrete uh, insulin in adequate amounts. They found the same deficiency in human beta cells, but do not yet know how the system is affected in diabetics. By the time a patient is diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, they have already lost 80% of beta cell function. So I think it's absolutely critical to uh, figure out the pathways that are important for beta cell function so that we can manipulate these pathways for early intervention of the disease as opposed to managing a chronic disease after. Curavella hopes that further studies could lead to drugs that affect receptor activity and treat pre-diabetics. Faith Lapidus, VOA News.